the back to school season is here and things are quite different this time around. When and how schools are reopening varies by district, but one thing is clear. Teachers will play an influential role in communicating new health and safety measures. The International Well Building Institute recently unveiled their COVID-19 teacher training program and joining us today to discuss is President Rachel Gutter. Welcome, Rachel. Thanks so much for having me, Julie. It's so great to see you. Now, how is the COVID-19 teacher training helping prepare teachers for this school year? Well, we created this simple one hour self-guided online training that's totally free for teachers so that we could equip and empower them to enter back into their classrooms with confidence and to take all of the measures within their own control to improve the health and safety conditions for themselves and for their students. The guidelines and the guidance in the course are based on CDC's guidelines for schools and backed by the latest science and research. Do you have any tips to help teachers concerned about their personal safety? Yeah, that's exactly what this course is filled with. Practical and actionable strategies that are within a teacher's own control or influence. Some of those strategies are going to be familiar to teachers like washing hands, enforcing physical distancing, and wearing masks. But other strategies are likely to be less familiar, like opening windows wherever possible to and orienting desks to reduce the risk of transmission. What is the best way to engage with students on new safety procedures? You know, I think that teachers as the first line of defense really have to begin by explaining the why behind these new practices and protocols. What we know is that as students return to school, they have encountered a whole host of different opinions and perspectives. And so their education and awareness varies greatly. What teachers can do is as always arm their students with the knowledge that they need. So they understand why these new protocols are in place and exactly how to uphold them. Yes, yes. How, how can teachers get the most out of the limited classroom space available? There's lots of things that teachers can do within their own classrooms, like putting markings on the floor that help students to understand how to move the safest throughout the classroom. They can also teach students about good behavior within the classroom, like coughing or sneezing into their elbows, post educational signage um, and limit the stuff that's coming in and out of the classrooms because we know that contaminated surfaces can contribute to the spread. And where can we go for more information? You can visit teachers.iwbi.com. And if you're not a teacher and listening to this, I really hope that you'll pass it along to a teacher in your life because we know that this year, our classrooms are only gonna be as safe as the way that we're interacting with them. All right, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate your time today and stay healthy. Thank you. All right, stay healthy this school year with these key and important safety measures. For more information, visit the website on your screen. The International Well Building Institute is a proud sponsor of Las Vegas Morning Blend.